To create a custom report in Salesforce, simply click on the Create New Custom Report button in the Reports tab. In the wizard that opens up, you want to select the data set that you're going to work with. In this case, we're going to work with leads, and we're going to work with all of our leads data. Once we've made these selections, we simply click the Create button. Now our real-time report wizard is going to open up for us. In the real-time report wizard, what you can easily do is you can drag and drop fields that are available to add to your report. Simply select the fields you want and place them dynamically into your report. As you do this, Salesforce is already going to begin building the report and give you a sample view summarizing up to 50 records of your data. So as you're looking at your report, you can organize and sort the report any way in which you want to by clicking on the column headers. If you need to add some summary totals to your report, simply select the, the number sign up in the upper left hand section of the report builder, select the field that you want to total, and add it to your report. Once you've done this, you can review your report, and if everything looks so good, then simply select Run, and now you're going to pull the full data set into your report. Once you've completed this task, you're going to move into the more familiar uh, report writer that was used prior to the Winter 11 release, which you can, if you're familiar with, you can simply select different areas to summarize your report to group things more dynamically. This has been a quick overview of how to use the new real-time report writer from Salesforce.com.